Hey everyone, this is Rob over here at Boonbape and hope you're having an amazing day. So today I'm going to be talking about five things that I think you should at least consider doing or, you know, trying to do in the next coming weeks as the December update is right around the corner. So these are things that are going to be either helping your account or putting you in a really great place for the upcoming update as there is going to be a lot to do. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. All right, so here we are browsing through a few weapons over on the trading post as this is going to be the first thing I think you should do, which is buy up as much gear as you possibly can, or at least all the gear that you need. Of course, I know you're probably not going to be able to buy everything. You know, <laughs> I can't even afford a brand new set of everything, but try to buy some stuff that I think is going to really impact your character. So I'm talking about you know, 600 gear score or as close to 600 gear score weapons as possible. That's going to really increase your damage and healing output. So along with that, make sure to go through and buy some high gear score armors. So for anyone that doesn't know, they actually recently changed it. Any gear that you have that you bought, crafted anything, doesn't matter how you got it, but they're giving a little bit of leeway and saying that as long as you have this gear with you, it's going to be able to be worn by you and it's not going to have expertise degradation affecting it. So make sure to buy as best gear as you possibly can, as close to 600 as you can with some pretty good perks on it. And you're definitely going to put yourself in a much better spot. Even if you have to maybe take out a small loan from a friend, something like that, this is definitely going to pay dividends in the end when you go to farm more gear. So speaking of crafting more gear, this brings us into our second point, and that's going to be you have more of a reason now than ever to want to increase your crafting profession. So I'm talking about armor smithing, weapon smithing, arcana, you know, depending on what you use, maybe even engineering and trying to get those up to as close to, if not 200 as you possibly can. Of course, as you can see, I haven't taken my own advice, so I do have 200 armoring, but 200 weaponsmithing is definitely a tall order, so I'm slowly going to be working my way there, or maybe I'll just rely on my RNG, and hopefully I'll get some decent drops. But of course, if you are not keen on farming out all of the weapons and stuff that you want to get, that's totally cool, and I would highly recommend getting up your crafting, because like I said in the last tip, they did change it again, so that you can actually continue to craft past this update, and get yourself upgrades. So it's really important that you know that you you can craft yourself upgrades. So if you have a friend that's a weapon smith, if you have a friend that's an armor smith, that's not going to be super helpful to you because you want to be able to craft your own upgrades so that you can bypass the expertise and the watermark system. So I think you should honestly try to invest and get that done now. Sure, it's going to be a little bit expensive, but you do have a few weeks to try and get it as close to 200 as possible. And then when the patch does come out, you're going to be able to craft some really amazing gear. So our third point pretty much links directly into our second, and that's going to be talking about hoarding or just getting in mass a lot of different items, T5 items in particular, such as or a calcum ore. So for anyone that doesn't know, they're going to be adding in a couple more refining processes, allowing you to turn auracalcum ore into things like cinnabar and tolvium. And this is across the board. So we're talking about you're going to be able to turn uh, iron bark into the legendary bark. You're going to be able to turn iron hide into the uh, smoldering hide. So any of the tier five materials, as you can see here in the top right, it's a tier five material or top left rather, make sure you save some of these. If you are running low on any of those legendary materials, you can either save them or just plan on farming them whenever the patch does come out. Although those places are usually crowded and I'm sure will be even more crowded once the, once the patch comes out, especially since there are merges happening even now. So I would honestly recommend getting some of these here. Or if you don't want to farm for it and you want to get them still for the cheap, you can come over here and look up Aura Calcum Ore, and you can put in yourself a buy order. So on my server here, it's pretty cheap. You can get them for as low as 20 cents. But if you want to skip the process, you can come in here and save yourself some money. Throw in a buy order. As you can see, these people are already hoarding and stocking up because, as everyone knows, Aura Calcum and Cinnabar still sell for quite a pretty penny. So whether you're going to use it 
whether you're going to sell it, this is definitely going to either make you some great gear or some great money. So for this fourth tip, I actually have a couple differing opinions here. This is going to depend on what you want to do. So if we take a look over here in my storage, I have been saving quite a bit of Asmodium, Runic Leather, and Phoenix Weave. This is something I would either highly recommend you do now, or there's another option. You can either craft the gear now. So the reason I was saying you can hold on to this is because it's going to be a lot easier to craft much better gear in the next patch. But that being said, like I said earlier, you are going to be able to get the gear that you have someone else craft for you and keep it as a way of boosting your gear score. So it depends if you need the gear score boost now. I'd recommend not saving these materials, having someone else, a friend, maybe someone in a different guild, make it for you. Use that going into the patch. And then once you go into the patch, hopefully you'll be progressing, making your own gear and then being able to make yourself upgrades in the future. Either way, I think you should, of course, every day, as long as these cooldowns exist, try to go in, get your Phoenix Weave, get your Runic Leather, all your Glittering Ebony, especially if you're a bow user. Make sure you're trying to get those cooldowns done every day. Even if you don't play every day, just log in, knock out those cooldowns, and hopefully, you know, you'll be in a much better place if you continue to do that. And so our fifth and final tip here is going to be for all of my gear score grinders out there like myself. You are going to be wanting to stockpile as many of these Lazarus and Genesis orbs as you possibly can. Of course, you can only make so many of them every day and every week, but try to get as many as you can going into the patch because going into the patch, this is going to be by far, in my opinion, or at least as we've seen so far, by far the easiest way in order to grind out and get better upgrades because every single boss you kill going into this update in any of these dungeons, Genesis, Lazarus, um, the Monetius Tuning Orb, Sirens Tuning Orb, so the arenas count as well. All of these are going to give you guaranteed upgrades on your gear score. So... That means you're either going to be getting a lot of legendaries if you're already pretty high on the gear score or you're going to be getting, you know, right back up to where you were before they implemented the expertise system. So that means that you're going to be getting up your rings, your earrings, your jewelry, all of that, your weapons, whatever you might be lacking. This is definitely going to be the best way to boost all that up so that whenever they do increase the gear score further, you're going to be in a really prime spot. I'm sure I don't need to tell most people this if you are in that spot, but for anyone looking to get that little bit of an edge or an advantage on people, maybe going into wars, you can have the first couple pieces of 610 or something like that. Whenever the next patch after this comes out, this is going to put you in a really good spot. So I think you should either, you know, use some of these now if you already have some, or if you have a group like I do, maybe have one or two people hold off on some of the orbs so that going into the patch, you'll have a little bit more so you can get that little bit quicker of a kickstart going into the actual patch. As far as tips, though, that's going to be about it. Those are the five that I think everyone should at least consider doing going into the patch as they can really put you in a great spot. But that's all I was able to think about. Let me know what you think you should be doing going into the patch, what you're doing let us all know. That'd be great to hear down in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video or if it did help you out, please make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. It does really help out the channel. Helps us get noticed and I do appreciate it. So hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon.